<laughs> okay, we are crossing a line here, so I... All right. All right. I understand I wasn't around to raise you in your timeline. I apologize. But... Because the androids came! <laughs> Don't you understand? Yeah, I understand. But... My sword's gonna go! <laughs> So I was like, you know what, if I'm going to continue the series, it's going in order. So when I got to Majin Buu, I was just like, what would he do? You know, what would he say? How would he communicate with him uh, to, you know, to match his character from the show? So um, it just came, like, you know, like, the, the way he talks is how he talks, you know? Black people. Like, it, it, it goes so perfect. And he has to say it like that at all times. For me, you know, just coming up with ideas most of the time, when I'm coming up with music parodies, I listen to music a lot. You know what I mean? Like the old stuff we used to yeah. just mm -hmm. listen to it and I get weird ideas. And then you call me and yeah, call I call you and say, hey, let me tell you. I got something good coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then he literally recites the whole thing with the, the same energy. He's ready at all times. It's ADHD, I think. Yeah. Jamie, can we hear the Vegeta voice? Okay. <laughs> I am Vegeta, who are you? <laughs> 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 it's okay. okay it happens. Right Who would win in a fight between you two? Uh, uh, I'm the only Super Saiyan in the room. Yeah, I mean, his hair's already yellow. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I got the Super Saiyan 4 going on right now, though. Yeah, you got it. Uh, the black hair is ain't coming down on the shoulders, too. Okay. How did you come up with the Gohan Spets Hot Fire to him? Um, have you ever heard the, the uh, original video? Super Even. hot! Super, Super hot, hot fire. fire! There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got it's based off of that, but I was like, you know what? He's not a rapper. Yeah, he, he's not a rapper. And, uh, <laughs> but it's based off of that. When Gohan was fighting Perfect Cell, I thought it'd be a good idea to have them rap battle. And then Gohan, when he finally does drop his bars, drop it like that, because it would be hilarious. And they have all, because they were kind of like cheering Gohan on. In the actual episodes when he was fighting Perfect Cell, so I, yeah. I, thought, I thought it fit so well. And he actually was in there. That was like yeah. one of his first, yeah. the first videos yeah. that I actually hit him up and told him Kenny Boyce for cheating. And he and it's such a yeah. great experience. I was like, oh, finally, I got a video to do with you. And he said, yeah, yeah uh, Sixteen's head is gonna go up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him up to do re-record because I was like, the screen's got to be a little bit more intense. <laughs> it's so weird to kind of picture. Okay, so how would the cheer sound if the head was in his ass? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, what's what video was your favorite to create? I think um I'm starting like really, 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 really like animating. So like all of the ones that you see, where they're, where they're like really polished and really clean animations, those are like my favorite ones. I have some favorite ones that I think the comedy is better in than some of the polished animations. But I'm really liking animation so much that some of my favorite videos are like the most recent ones where I'm getting better and better. I'm practicing and it's getting better. And those are like my favorite ones to really watch. But I'm just watching my, my work. I'm not really watching, I'm not really paying attention too much to the comedy. 
But uh, comedy wise, or probably uh, if Go Come With You to a Black, the series, mm -hmm. I like those probably the best comedy wise. Yeah, you. Hey, uh, you do all the singing and stuff when you, you do your videos. Uh huh. So, my, one of my favorite videos is uh, The Imperfect Cell and the Black Go Come With You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that was so hard to record. Hey, buddy, man, your eyes. So hard to record. But the singing was incredible. And if you look at the concert, man, you can see everybody. Yeah, everybody was saying, they're like, man, when he said looking for the androids, it's crazy. <laughs> and I had to like probably re record it maybe like 25 times because it's so hard to sing in someone else's voice, especially when it, when it sounds like that. When he's, he's a basically a big grasshopper. <laughs> Blue Jean Jacket. I was going to ask, throughout all the years of watching Dragon Ball mm -hmm. and creating content, would you have ever thought you'd have your own panel room? Never. Especially not now, like I said at the beginning, man, it's, it seems like it's like it just happened. And like just looking around, it's like I'm dreaming. It's like it's not even <clears> real, you know? I'm, and I'm so nervous. I don't know about him, but I'm nervous right now. I'm As I'm looking at you in the eyes, I'm like supremely nervous. So you were saying you're really enjoying the animation as yes. you guys do more of that. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you guys write your lyrics and all that. I was wondering if you guys ever considered maybe going into the direction of an original series or anything, a comedy series oh, of your own oh, yeah. with your talent. Sure. That's like always in the back of my mind. I think that would be awesome to see. I'm always working on something like that behind the scenes. I just don't want to talk about it too much because I feel like when you tell people your plans too early, they'll like be like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And then you kind of get your congratulations early before yeah. you even do the work. You Should we pretend we don't believe in you? Would that help? <laughs> <laughs> so like, like even with my parodies, like I don't announce what I'm doing next. I just, I just let it happen. Yeah. Because if, I feel like if I tell you, I'm gonna do this, and this is how it's gonna play out, and I'm gonna have these characters in it, and everybody's like, oh, that's gonna be so good, and I'll, I'll lose the fire, you know? Yeah. And, and that's the same way I feel about my own uh, original series. Got some stuff going on in the background, but I don't wanna talk about it too much. And if I do do a series, he will voice somebody, yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. For sure, he's gonna have somebody. If I do something, you're gonna be able to take that. That's what I'm talking that's about. Right. Tall guy, big long arm right there, in the middle. <laughs> I took a picture with you yesterday. Hey, 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 yeah. uh, all the villains of the entire Dragon Ball series, which one's your most favorite and which one's your least favorite? Um, I know this is gonna sound cliche, because I know this is probably a lot of people's favorite uh, villain, and it's probably Toriyama's favorite villain, since it keeps bringing him back. <laughs> Freezer. Oh, the gum stain lizard strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> and then my least favorite, Majin Buu. Probably Kid Buu, actually, because he doesn't talk. I don't, I, don't like, I don't like the characters too much that don't talk, unless they can really express themselves. What do you mean, man? He was expressing himself. He was... Expressing? <laughs> he was letting his head grow. Yeah, he, he was over-expressing. <laughs> you ever think we'll see a return of Louis C.F. Rowling? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You guys love me too much. I, I, I can't deprive you guys of what you like. When did you guys uh, first start doing the impersonations? Actually, my first video ever on YouTube was an impersonation video. So. so I got on my computer. I didn't have a mic. I recorded directly into the computer. And I did an impression video. And I posted it on YouTube. And that was uh, four years ago when I first started. Man, I don't even remember the first time I did an impression on YouTube. It was a long time ago. That's all I can say. But like, it, it didn't start with Machida or anything. I did. Goku and Gohan primarily. Mm -hmm. You remember me for doing yeah. Gohan. Gohan, when I first heard his Gohan voice, I was yeah. like, this guy is good. <laughs> this guy is special. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate um, it. But, I mean, it's okay. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Go right here in the middle again. What's your favorite rap battle video? Like? My favorite one probably would be probably the Kami versus Piccolo. Oh. So far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot. I got Popo in there, man. Taking <laughs> 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 up the fire at the end. Betty Krill. Uh, you know, I'm not, that, I'm not even that good at Krillin's voice. Yes, you are. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that. It's like, Don't do it when you don't. No, that's me. <laughs> and then Trunks, yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy. The way I warm up, the funny thing is, like, warm up with Trunks, I just say androids over and over again. I say, like, androids are coming. I expect you to say, Father! It's like, Father! <laughs> No. <laughs> no, son, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do what you want to do. You're not going to the park today. Why would you tell me that? Because you've been a naughty boy. <sighs> I clean my sword like you told me and everything. I, I don't approve of that. I don't approve of that. I you don't approve of the way my sword came out. Look at no, it. No. It's polished. That is not, that, is, that is not okay. That's that's not. <laughs> you just want to be cut by it, don't you? Okay, we are crossing the line here, son. All right. All right. Okay. 
I understand I wasn't around to raise you in your timeline. I apologize. Because the androids came! <laughs> Don't you understand? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> My sword's gonna go! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, thank you. Uh, so I heard a couple people say it, but uh, Weezy F. Broly is definitely my favorite. Uh -huh. I need it. I need it right you now. You need it? Okay. Just a little bit. Yes, that's basically Lil Wayne for everybody who doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Weezy F. Broly, baby. <laughs> I'm so high, baby. <laughs> the way Lil Wayne talks, he's like, it sounds like he's like right up on the mic. So when I'm recording, I have like the, the value turned all the way up. And I'm like really close to the mic. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be like, a lot of people don't really understand. Like, my daddy, like, he called me the other day. He said, like, hey, we see, you know what I'm saying? Get to sense some things. <laughs> the first one's for Vegeta. Uh, uh, how did you come up with the catchphrase for the vitamin D? Oh, the vitamin D. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's a funny story. I was uh, I was doing a Let's Play on Witcher Three, I believe, and uh, for some reason in my mind, while I was playing the game, I said, I don't know how dirty I'm gonna get. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay to just drop the feline word right now. Um, I'll just say vitamin D. <laughs> and vitamins. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be my catchphrase. <laughs> I mean, you had to dip that one. Well. Yeah, I mean, I had, we had to make up one too. Uh, my actual best friend, he's not here right now, but uh, we were talking on the phone one day and uh, he was like, bro, I just gave somebody the dip day. Oh, all the time. <laughs> what do you mean? He's been called when sometimes I'm, I'm just, seven. I'm pissed off and I'm like, damn it, Kakarot! <laughs> he does it so much. I feel like it's part of his voice now. It's part of his regular voice. Every time he yells, sometimes uh, like he'll do other characters for me. Like, go on. He sends me all the lines. He doesn't edit it. He sends me everything. Even the, the mess bloopers, up. The bloopers. bloopers, everything. I'll be laughing. But when he first starts out, every time, no matter if he voices Vegeta or not, he always sounds like Vegeta. And then slowly, slowly he becomes the other character. Second question for you, Mrs. Jerry. You ever worried that your son's going to ask for royalties and use them? <laughs> <laughs> he can have royalties. He can have royalties. <laughs> Yeah, he gets everything else anyway. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> this one's for my Prince Vegeta! Alright! Okay, <laughs> which your mama joke was the funniest one you've ever heard? Mm. Oh. Kakathon, do you have one? I can't think of one. <laughs> your mama's so stupid! When the doctor told her to burn some calories, she set a fat person on fire! There you go. That's, that's I like your energy. You remind me of me. No, but you don't do that. Yeah, what gave you the idea of you know make ultra? Ultra rap snake. <laughs> ultra rap snake. Remember when uh, Goku goes ultra rap snake and he has like a dress? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. So goddamn ugly. <laughs> I don't know, because like at the time I was just like thinking, I was like, what do these rappers look like nowadays? And I was like, they all have crazy dreads, like just hanging off the side of the head. They'll have like a ponytail right here. And dreads. <laughs> okay, we're crossing the line here, so. All right. All right. I understand I wasn't around to raise you in your timeline. I apologize. But... Because the androids came. <laughs> don't you understand? Yeah, I understand. 